Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what's going on with you guys. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if it hits home for you. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload as well. If you want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. I offer email tarot readings. They're much more affordable. Quick turnaround, only about three days, okay? I also have my tarot and oracle decks and spiritual jewelry on Etsy. All right, let's jump right in, Cancer. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. We'll get you some messages. And we're going to clarify per usual, all right? Cancer. What's going on with Cancers out there? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Please do show some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Cancer. Let's jump right in. What is the current energy surrounding Cancer and love? We have the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so there's definitely, um, I'm getting there was a message or some kind of news you recently found out regarding an individual here, Cancer. Um, you may have even found out something or you decided to pull back from a situation here. I'm getting the challenges to come together, the challenges to have this reunion. Whoever this is, it could be a twin flame you're dealing with. Four Wands is about let's come together, harmony, peace, right? Let's just get along. Um, however, Cancer, I feel like there's something that you're trying to find truth about. There's something here with the Queen of Swords. could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're connecting with. There's something here about you getting to the bottom of something. Why did it happen? Um, some of you guys, whatever this news that came out here with this Page of Wands and reverse, um, this could be about you getting to the bottom of what, what that situation was about. Why did it happen? What's the truth? Getting clarity, okay? Some of you guys are getting, let's cut through the BS already. Let's, that's the energy I'm feeling. All right, so give me the recent past energy here. Cancer, in the recent past, we have the devil in reverse. We have the five of swords and the seven of pentacles in reverse. So, Cancer, there's definitely something here that you're removing yourself from all entirely. I'm getting you are pulling back. Again, the page of wands in reverse could be an energy of pulling back as well. So, there's something that you're maybe releasing because it brought a lot of conflict. There could have been some fighting and arguing, and I'm getting an energy of feeling just defeated by all of it. So, Cancer, there may be someone here that you're letting go. You're releasing from your energy. You just don't want to deal with them anymore. It could be a Capricorn. Um, and it's telling me that you've you've invested a lot in this situation. Okay, the reason why you're letting it go is not because you don't care, but because you feel like you've invested more than enough. Your time, your energy. And it's at a point where this person may not be contributing to the connection or investing themselves in a reciprocated manner, okay? For something to really grow. So let's see. What is on your mind, Cancer? What is on your mind? The Tower in reverse, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries. There's someone here that I feel there's been immature communication with, no communication, piss poor communication. I mean, this is something here or someone you're dealing with where you could have felt like they were lying to you. They were being very dishonest, and it could have led to a tower moment, right? The tower could have happened very suddenly, unexpected. Could have been a betrayal. Could have been something revealed with this tower. But what it did is that it shook this connection up, right? It may have made you realize that, you know what? I don't know if I can deal with this person anymore. I may have to let myself go. I may have to free myself, right, with the devil here. So whatever this tower is, is or was i do feel out of you guys you've overcome this tower it's something that you're recovering from or letting go parting ways with but you may be in the healing process of you know after the tower comes you're rebuilding your life back up some of you guys you're functioning in this queen of wands energy where you're really moving forward right you're taking charge of your life you're confident you're manifesting good things you're passionate maybe passionate about something here um well, let's get some more clarity okay um in a in a little bit. Let's jump right into the foundation. What is in the foundation for cancer? What are they unaware of? Temperance in reverse can be done with the Sagittarius, the Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse. So I do feel like whoever this person is, um, on their mind is wanting to overcome this really difficult situation. I'm getting the energy that you guys both felt defeated by a situation of past conflict and it's telling that your person does want things to come to a peaceful resolution 
All right. I do feel like this is someone who may, you may have been in a commitment with them or this is someone who may have been uh, non-committal. Okay. Now, some of you guys I'm getting, if they were non-committal, there could have been two people. We have a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys, there was someone else in the picture. Could be a codependent connection of some sort. Maybe they were tied to someone um, that they couldn't, they couldn't take the right action towards you because there was someone else in the picture with this two of wands in the verse. Now, we do have someone here wanting to make a decision after being very indecisive. And it may have taken you maybe like literally getting to the point where you've lost your patience with them here. Okay, with the temperance in the verse. And then now they're wanting to overcome something here with you, right? Let, let's, let's make peace. So let's get the outcome. Cancer. Nine of Cups in reverse, the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Cancer, there's definitely someone here. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming, rushing in. There's an energy of rushing in. This could happen after a period of silence where there's no communication. I'm also getting, they're rushing in because you've quiet them, you've silenced them, you've stopped communicating with them, and now they're really finding themselves unhappy. Now, in the energy, there's also energy of what wanting a reconciliation but maybe very uncertain and confused about how to get to this place of a reconciliation so we're going to see whoever this person is coming in we're going to see what their intentions what their desires what their motives are okay so let's get some clarity for you guys all right tell me more about the queen of swords i want to find out what you guys want to get to the bottom of there's something you want to find truth about could have been related to a Leo, a Sag, and Aries in your life. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And we have the Death. Okay. So, Cancer, there's something here you're trying to find out the truth regarding a situation where you could have felt someone betrayed you. You could have felt like they went behind your back. They manipulated you, um, deceived you, cheated, lied. And it brought a lot of worries. Nine of Swords. It, it made you in this energy of feeling, you know, really tied up late at night, constantly thinking about it, mental turmoil. And a lot of you guys are wanting to put an end to a situation here because you don't want to live like that. No one wants to live in this nine of swords energy, right? So there was some kind of ending or there's an ending taking place right now. This could be literally just pulling back, right? The death card could be a Scorpio. Um, but really, you know, it's because you want to know what really happened. Some of you guys... You may have recently found out the truth, okay? Oh, this could be the challenge, right? Essentially, finding out the truth to put an end to a situation and go down a different path, okay? So we're going to find out some more, but there was an, uh, there's a need for some kind of change here with the death card. Now, in a recent past, tell me more about the Five of Swords. There was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of drama, okay, between you and an individual. And you may have felt you had to release this person or let them go. Tell me more about the Five of Swords in a recent past. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, Chris. We have the Hermit, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Justice in Reverse, Libra energy, Virgo energy. In a recent past, there was definitely a lot of potential for happiness for you guys to really come together. You saw this person as your happy person. You uh, were in a happy place with them. But I also feel like, you know, that was something that you were really... <sighs> That was your goal, okay? I mean, I'm getting the energy that you guys found yourself really in an unjust situation. Maybe at things were one point very happy and you felt just happy to be with this person. And all of a sudden, it's like this person was just, um, just acting out of character. That's what I'm getting here, okay? This could have been someone here that brought a lot of conflict or but did an injustice to you in some way. Maybe you felt this person hurt you or they went out of their way to cause some kind of hurt or betray you, okay? There's something here where you had to take some time to rest. The hermit is recovering, introspection, doing a lot of deep thinking. And a lot of you guys are doing a lot of deep thinking because it's like you don't understand why this person would, you know, sabotage, why they would go out of their way to destroy something that was really good, right? So we also have here the Seven of Pentacles in verse. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. There's something here where you felt maybe it's just not worth it anymore. I've invested so much, but nothing was coming out of it. The Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you just felt like there was just too much friction. I'm getting too much friction and tension between you and this person. And it got to the point where you just need rest, right? You need to recover. You found yourself constantly arguing, bickering, fighting with this person or always in a place of conflict. And so a lot of you guys, you made a decision after spending a lot of time 
by yourself, the Four of Swords, recovering, right? You guys maybe decided to take a step back all the all together from the connection with this person. But I'm also seeing that you had to you had to do it, right? The devil. There was something very toxic about this connection, or you had to part ways with it, right? You have to let let it go. Now, some of you guys you may have found yourself in going through a tower moment with this person. Okay. Could have been could have also sparked an awareness or enlightenment within you. Cancer is what it's telling me. It may have even allowed you to have this newfound um, confidence in yourself, okay? Knowing who you are, your self-esteem, there may be something here that, you know, you've gotten out of this, okay? That was very beneficial to you, uplifting you, empowering you in some way. Now, tell me more about the tower. I'm going to take all those cards. What's this tower about? It could be a Scorpio you're connecting with. Tower. The Emperor, the Knight of Swords, and we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, all right, so Cancer, um, you definitely could be dealing with an emperor-like energy, but I think this is you. I really feel like this is you. It could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of you guys, there's something here, again, very immature about this person. Um, There's something here about you moving forward. After this very difficult situation here with the tower, a lot of you guys, it's telling me that you decided to take control back. You decided to take control. I'm getting you are in the driver's seat, right? You're directing your life, and you're moving forward in a positive direction. You're making good decisions, whereas this past is making uh, the, this past person or this person you were dealing with was making poor piss poor decisions right um a lot of you guys there's something here about you finding the truth and um you know again i do think this is someone you're very much still emotionally connected to even though you decided to let this go moving on um, i'm getting you have not entirely emotionally disconnected from this person i do feel like there's still a lot of missing you um there's still there's strong feelings here, and I'm getting that you may have physically disconnected after tower moment, but you're still thinking about them. In fact, this is someone that you may not be talking to, but you may be certainly watching them, or they may be watching you on social media. There's an investigative energy here, um, or saying, or trying to see what's going on behind the scenes, okay? But I think for the majority of you guys, you guys have tried to move on, let go, but there's also an energy of wanting to return. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Cancer? Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's like, you see this energy? It's like, I am so hurt. I'm so over this person. They betrayed me. They hurt me. They brought so much emotional pain, but I still want to see them again, right? The Three of Cups. I still want to reunion. I still want to, I want to know what happened, right? The Queen of Swords, why they did this to me. But also, I would really love to be able to come together with this person. So the energy of walking away, but still having entirely let this go, Cancer. You're still emotionally connected to this person in some some way. And you're still thinking about, well, if a reconciliation can ever happen, you know, can I trust this person as well? You know, will I ever be able to love them the way I loved them in the past with the Three of Swords? So let's see your person's energy. I do feel this is someone who wants to overcome something here regarding you. Why is the Six of Swords? The Star... The King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys, you have an air sign or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, someone here who's not speaking to you, okay? There's definitely energy of not, of holding back, not communicating at this time with the King of Swords in reverse. However, um, the reason why they're not communicating, it's not because, again, they don't, they don't want to overcome this with you. They don't care. It's more so that, you know, they're feeling as if they wouldn't be victorious, okay, and coming together and healing this connection. Their intentions is to come back together. They have high hopes, desires for the connection. They still want to work on this with the star, okay? This is someone who has not given up. But the problem is that how do I overcome it, right? There's something here about this person feeling like a failure, okay? So they want to go into calmer waters. They want to make or have some kind of peaceful resolution, but they don't know how to go about doing it. And that's why the Six of Wands are They don't feel like they'd be victorious. Now, tell me more about the Two of Wands. There's some kind of indecisive energy, but now they're making a decision. Queen of Wands, the Temperance, and the World in Reverse. A lot of you guys, there's someone here who's finally making a decision after a lot of time, right? A lot of time being wasted. And I'm getting with the World in Reverse. This is something here that they're being, you know, told to go back to. It's telling me that, you know, maybe there wasn't, Again, the right time for something happened. Getting time a lot because we have the world and we have the um, the temperance. Um, 
I'm getting that they may have been caught in a cycle that they couldn't get out of. It was maybe out of their control. Could have been with a Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries, or a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could have been tied to a situation or some kind of codependent connection. Could have been with a karmic of some sort. And they weren't able to come towards you. And so there was a lot of indecision. There was a lot of... um just again their intentions were very unclear about you um because something here just wasn't the right time okay the world and verse something here that just couldn't happen and definitely temperance divine timing there's something about patience let's see what this person is coming in we have the knight of swords someone come bush bum rushing in uh, with this energy but I also feel like this is the same individual who's very emotionally um charged up they're very unhappy about where things stand more about this uh air sign or someone who's just giving uh giving off those energies of, of an air sign very impulsive king of cups came out the ace of wands and the four of cups so yeah definitely someone feels like they've missed an opportunity with you there's a lot of disappointment a lot of regrets okay about um the way something ended and they still obviously care for you very much cancer they, they're seeing you with this king of cups you're you know, you're loving, you're nurturing, you're supportive. And there's someone here who definitely wants a new beginning, but they're not sure how to get this to just, how to get this up and running again, how to get this started. So there's something about them taking some time to rest. Cancer, you also could be in recovery from this person, especially after going through a tower moment. And there's an energy of feeling like I missed out, right? Um, thinking about a reconciliation, it's on both of your minds and in the energies, but it's almost like this break is needed, okay? Especially if there was a very difficult ending here in the past. There's still love, um, but I do see eventually this is someone who may come rushing in. Tell me more about this ace of wands why is the ace of wands in reverse it may not come in just yet six of swords in reverse the two of cups in reverse with the tower okay now some of you guys there's something here about this person now going through a tower moment right you went through it because this person's actions or th the betrayal and now they're going through a tower moment where everything is like you know, um, turning upside down in their life. There's big realizations. There's big, um, something here could be illuminated to this person about this connection that they have with you, the two of cups. And I do feel like this is someone who has not been able to truly let this go. Six of swords came out in the verse. They have not been able to move on. They're still holding on to a past situation with you, wanting to go into calm waters, wanting to have a peaceful resolution. So that is what I'm seeing here. Um, the reason why this can't get back up and running just yet with the Ace of Wands and Verse is because, again, you know, there's a tower moment. A lot of you guys, there's something here about your person having to now go through a tower moment and realize what they've lost in order to realize what they really want, right? Which is you. So, Cancer, that is what I have for you guys. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, it gave you some clarity and guidance. And I'd love for you to join the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys, I'll take care. All right, bye.